Hi everyone, I'm Jackie and welcome to this yoga core burn class where we're going to focus on strengthening and toning around the tummy area and also burn some calories to help assist you in your weight loss goals. So we're going to get right into it starting lying down on the mat with a gentle core activation to know how you're going to use your core correctly through today's class. So laying down with your knees bent about hip width distance apart. First of all, just take one hand and slide it underneath your lower back. And in your fully relaxed position, you have this natural curve in your lower back where you can extend the hand almost all the way to the other side. So that's not how we want to use our core during today's class. So release the hand from underneath and I want you to flatten that lower back against the mat. Now it's a very subtle movement and you'll know that when you do that, your pelvis tucks under just slightly and there's a little activation going on deep inside your core. If you take your hand and try to slide it underneath, it won't go very far this time. So that's exactly the position that we want to keep anytime we're doing any core exercises. So just take a few of those, relaxing and then flattening the lower back. Relax and flatten. You might not feel that there's much movement or anything going on, but it is a very subtle movement. And maybe just hold it there and just notice everything that's working inside. The little activation around the sides of your core, on the top, the lower abs, they feel like they're drawing towards the lower ribs as well. They're pulling together as the back lengthens. All right, release and flatten the lower back. Release and flatten. One more time. Release and flatten. Nice. Release. Let's take the hands behind the head this time. I'm gonna make it a little bit harder. So this time when you flatten the lower back, you're gonna bring one knee into your chest and then lower. Relax the lower back. Flatten and bring the knee close. And then keep going. Make that action start from flattening the lower back, engaging the core before you bring your knee and your chest up. And try to keep the elbows nice and wide. Try not to pull yourself up with your arms. Keep breathing as well. Every time you come up, breathe out. Breathe and release. Breathe out, come up. Breathe and release. One last time. Breathe out, come up. Hold it there. Bring both knees in. Try to relax the elbows down. Flatten the lower back here. Now that you've got your knees and your chest raised, it's a little bit harder. You're going to extend one leg and then alternate. Keep pressing that lower back down into the mat. Engaging the core. Breathing. Try to activate those legs as they lengthen as well to make them nice and light. A couple more each side. Keep that lower back pressing down against the mat. One more time each side. And lower. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Maybe a little rock from side to side. And then take the legs up to the sky, about 90 degrees. Again, flatten the lower back, bring your hands to either side, palms facing down, and you're going to lift the toes up to the sky just by using your lower abs. So no swinging the leg to lift the hips up. You might not lift very high, that's okay. You're building the muscle and the strength in your lower back, in your lower core, sorry. Try to keep the legs nice and straight, as little movement in the legs as possible. Just a couple more. And release the knees into the chest. One more time, big hug. And then see if you can rock yourself all the way up to a seat and then come on to all fours. Hands underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips. We'll do a few rounds of cat and cow. Breathing in, roll the shoulders back, open the chest, lift the tailbone high, and then breathing out, scooping in the belly, tucking the tailbone under, pushing the floor away and tucking your chin. 
breathe and opening back up. And you may feel already a slight stretch in your belly in this pose, which is nice to stretch out. Just following your own breath here. One more time, breathing in. And out. And then come back to your neutral spine here. So now that we're on all fours, we want to have that same action as if we were lying on the mat. So if you find this arch through the spine, you want to lengthen the tailbone away, flatten this lower back up to the sky, scoop the belly up into your spine and hold it there. Find that position. Try also not to sink down in the shoulders, but pressing the floor away as well. Once you've found that position, extend the right leg out behind you, parallel with the floor with the toes pointing down to the mat. So not to the side, but turning the kneecap and toes down. And now that you've lifted up this leg, notice, did you let your belly drop? Did you let the spine arch? If so, press that back up, flatten the lower back, lift the belly in, hold it there, and then extend the left arm forward. Hold it. Try to keep that right hip down. Try not to hike it up. And then lower the hand and the knee down and alternate sides. Left leg out behind. Flex the foot. Toes pointing down to the mat. Lift the belly, flatten the spine. And then extend the right arm. Hold it here. Find the balance. Find the activation through your core muscles all the way around. And then lower. Alternating again. See if you can move the foot and the arm at the same time. Trying always to keep that lower back flat and the, the core hugging into the spine. Lots of work going on there, very subtle work. Maybe it doesn't seem like much is happening with this movement, maybe it looks easy, but there's a lot going on there if you're doing it correctly. Let's do one last time. And then lower back onto your hands and knees. Take one round of cat and cow. Breathing in, open the chest. And breathing out, rounding through the spine. Come back to your neutral spine. We're gonna do the same exercise, but a little bit harder this time. Walk the hands forward so you're in this plank position with the knees on the mat. So again, we're not arching through the spine. Lengthen that lower back, hug the core into the spine, push the floor away with the shoulders, and then extend the right leg behind and the left arm forward. A lot more work going on here. Try to find that balance. Right hip pressing down, not hiking up. Belly hugged in, spine flattened, and then lower. Alternate sides, left leg, right arm. Push the floor away with that left hand. And then lower. And alternate. Try to keep the position of the hips so we're not going back and forth every time we're lifting the limbs. And notice what your breath is doing if it's still nice and steady, or if you've forgotten to breathe, now is a chance to remind yourself the breath is going to help you. All right, let's do one more time each side. And then release down all the way to your belly. Take a breath in, roll the shoulders back, lift up into a little cobra pose, breathing into your chest, relax the bum and the legs, shoulders away from your ears, and then breathe out, forehead coming down to the mat, curl the toes under, hands are underneath your shoulders, you're gonna lift up into plank, try to bring everything up at the same time. So your core really has to lift up to bring your hips up at the same time as your upper body. So take a big breath in, and on the breath out, push up, nice and strong and fast. And then lift the hips back into a down facing dog. Take a few moments here just to walk out your feet, make any movements that you need. And then when you're ready on the next breath, come back to stillness and then bring the knees down, almost touching the mat. 
so they're hovering off a couple centimeters off the mat you can shift the hands a little bit closer if you need to again flatten the lower back no arching here push the floor away with those hands shoulder blades up to the sky and neck in line with your spine so try not to drop the head or look up from here you're going to walk the left and right hand forward and then the other keep this core engaged and then back as little movement in the body as possible just the legs and the arms are moving up and down your mat keep the belly lifted up one more time forward and back and back to the center of your mat hold it here let's hold for another five four keep breathing three lower back flatten belly up two and one lower the knees down untuck the toes come into a child's pose chest and forehead on the ground walk the hands forward ah, take a breather here find your breath Try to slow down and steady your breath here. One last breath. And then when you feel ready, you're gonna come forward into a forearm plank. You can interlace the fingers or place them palms flat, flat down, whatever works better for you. And then straighten the legs, lift up. Hips in line with your shoulders, belly hugging into your spine, back flattened. So again, not arching through the spine, lengthen the tailbone down. Press the floor away with the forearms, holding here. Neck in line with your spine, pressing through the heels of your feet and also the crown of your head. Holding here, breathe. Keep lifting the belly up. Even when you're tired, that's when you have to work even harder to activate those muscles. Another five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't lower down. Bring the left knee into the left armpit and then send it back. Right knee, right armpit and back. A few times just like this. Breathe out as the knee comes into the side. Breathe in as you lengthen. Keep the core activated. Pushing the floor away with the forearms. One more time each side. You're doing really well. Oh, and lower the knees down. Come back into a child's pose. Lower the forehead. Relax. Maybe a little sway from side to side. Find your breath. And slowly coming back up, gonna find a seat and come into boat pose. So legs come out in front. Try to sit right up on your sit bones here. Take the hands and the fingertips forward. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest up to the sky. Find a nice straight spine here. And then you're gonna lean back just a little bit. When you lean back, you'll notice that your core is activated a little bit more and also your hip flexors, so this crease in your uh, legs here. Keep the shoulders rolled back and then we're gonna lift the legs off the mat. Hold it there. You can also release the hands. You will have to lean back just a little bit more as you lift the legs, but try to keep that spine nice and straight. From here, extend one leg. Back will go a little bit further back and then bring it in, crunch in, back, and lift in. Breathe out as you bring the knees back in. That lower back is, again, being very flat, finding no arch, and also not curling too much either. You wanna find that happy medium. Breathing here. One more each side. All right, and then release. Gonna lie all the way back. 
onto your back. Extend the legs, extend the arms, interlace the fingers and take a big stretch from fingertips to toes. Breathing into your chest. Nice stretch here. And then breathing out, rolling over onto your left side. So doing a little exercise here for your obliques, so the side of your core. You're gonna place the left elbow and forearm down, knees are bent, right hand on the right hip. Try not to sink down into this left shoulder, push the floor away, engage the core. Again, not that arch through the spine where the belly is sticking out, but belly is hugging into the lower uh, spine and then the back is flat here. Same position as we started off with, but just in a different uh, position. All right, from here, gonna lift the hips up and open the legs wide into like clamshells. Breathing in, open, push the hips forward, push the floor away with this arm and then lower down. Breathing out, lifting up and breathing in, release down. Try to keep the core activated the entire time. Nice and strong in the upper body as well. So everything is helping you with the position. We're not slacking off in any area of the body. Really press those hips forward as you come up. Squeeze the bum. One more time. You're gonna stay up and then just drop that top knee down on top of the left. Reach the right arm up to the sky, breathing in and then breathing out, twist. Thread this right arm underneath the left armpit. Breathe in, reaching up. Breathe out. Breathe in, reach up. A few more times. Keep those hips lifted up. Maybe it's starting to burn in the side of your core, and that's great. <laughs> Two more times. Breathing out. And in, out, and in, lifting up and then lower the hips and the arm down. You're gonna roll over onto sitting again, back into that boat pose position. You can do this with your toes on the mat or feet lifted. Hands to the heart center. You're gonna twist to one side and then the other. One side and then the other. Keep that back nice and flat, shoulders pressing back and away from your ears, chest lifted up to the sky. One more time each side. All right, lower down. You're going to roll over onto your right side. I'm gonna spin all the way around so I can continue facing you. I'm gonna do this on the other side. So right elbow down underneath the shoulder, Push the floor away, we're not sinking down. Hand, left hand on left hip. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, lift the hips up, open the knees wide, and press the hips forward and squeeze the bum. And lower down. Breathe out, lift up. And breathe in, lower down. Keep going. See how high you can lift those hips up, the left hip up to the sky. Belly always hugging into your spine, never letting go. Shoulders rolling back, pressing the floor away with this right arm. If you've forgotten about it and sunk into that shoulder, press it away. All right, two more times. And last time, stay up. Drop that left knee on top of the right knee. Breathe in left arm up to the sky. Breathing out, thread it underneath, and breathe in, lifting up. Breathe out, twist, breathe in, lift. Keep going, keep those hips lifted. Keep pressing away with that right arm on the mat. Two more times. And last time, you're doing really well. And then lower the hips and the arm. You're gonna come onto your belly this time. And extend the arms long, bring the forehead down. Feet pointed, toes reaching to the end of the mat. Just find a nice straight spine here. Try to tuck the pelvis under a little bit. Again, tailbone lengthening down to the end of the mat. Big breath here.
and then release, lift the head, bring the elbows underneath the shoulders, fingers spread wide and pressing down onto the mat. Sphinx pose. Breathe in, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest up, push the floor away with the forearms and then gently pull them a little bit towards your body so that you feel your chest coming through in between your hands. And when you do that, you might feel a nice stretch along the front of your belly, everything that we've worked today. Try to keep those shoulders away from your ears as well. Relax the legs, maybe give them a bit of a shake. Relax the bum as well. Big breath here into your chest. And breath out, maybe through your mouth. <sighs> Releasing all that tension. One more time, deep breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. <sighs> and then lower down. Press yourself back into a child's pose, knees wide, toes together. Bring the hands forward. You're gonna take the right arm and thread it underneath towards the opposite side of the mat and then lay all the way down. Back of the hand rests down. Left hand can stay there or you can bring it behind your lower back and reach towards your right hip crease. Maybe close down the eyes here. Now it's a moment to relax. You can soften your belly down to the mat. No need to hold on tight anymore. And if you feel there's any force in this right arm where you're pushing the floor away, try to release that tension and let your body sink down instead. One more breath on this side. And then if you have your left arm behind your back, bring it down next to your face. Breathing in, lifting back up, bring the hands forward and swapping sides. Left arm threads underneath towards the opposite side of the mat, back of the palm down and then relax the head down. Right arm stays where it is if you had it there on your first side, otherwise bring it behind the lower back and towards the left hip crease. Again, if there's any force pushing away with that left arm and shoulder, see if you can release it and just sink the body down on top of your left arm. Close your eyes. Let everything in your body release. Belly down to the mat. Chest sinking down. Shoulders relaxed and drooping down towards the mat. Nice steady breaths. And on the next breath, release the right hand back down next to your face. Breathing in, lifting back up. Bring the hands forward. And just take a moment here, rolling the shoulders back, lengthening the spine, close your eyes, pushing the floor away, deep breath, and out through your mouth. Slowly open your eyes and come back to a seat. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that class and I will see you back here for the next one. Bye.